Hey everyone, and welcome to my fourth attempt at recording this battle. Um, this is against Mesvesto, leave his link in the description below. He's a really good narrator, pretty good battler, and, um, you know, he's a cool guy. I uh, recommend you go check him out. Uh, was at his stream earlier. We decided that, uh, we were going, to, or he decided he was going to have one more battle if anyone wanted it. I said, sure, I will. So, um, yeah, and here we are, got an RU match for you today. I'm going to lead off with my uh, Metacham, he's going to lead off with his Glagger, fearing the Ice Punch, he's going to switch out um, into his Durant. I'm predicting the switch out, going to go straight for the workup, which I caught him off guard, but, you know, whatever, this is a mixed Metacham, so, you know, workup makes sense. Um, now, I'm figuring I might be able to take one hit from this thing, and uh, hopefully get a Drain Punch to get all that HP back. But he does miss the x scissor, which is rather unfortunate for him. But if you're going to play with Hustle, then uh, that's the kind of thing you can expect. Um, I'm just going to take him out with a Drain Punch. No no, re no uh, worries as whether or not I would. I knew I would. Um, now he brings in this thing. I don't want to die to this thing because it's can outspeed me, and it can probably take me out because that thing has a massive special attack. I honestly don't know what it wants to do. I'm just going to go out into my crocodile to absorb the electric attack, which he does go for. Um, and now I'm predicting him to switch out, thinking that he's choice, and um, he is. So, you know, that's always good. Um, I'm going to get a lot of damage off with this pursuit, and, uh, you know, it's always good. He's going to go into his glide score now. I'm locked into pursuit because I'm choice scarfed. Um, he thought I was choice banded, looking at that damage from the meta or the, what's it called, um, oh man, Manectric, that's what it's called, I'm gonna go out, so I'm gonna go out into my, um, Omastar, he's gonna go for the taunt, he thought I was a, sm a shell smash set, which I'm not, I'm just, uh, I'm a defensive set, with three attacks, which sounds really weird, but it's not, it's, <laughs> I just, I have three, three attacks, I have a water stab, a rock stab, and ice beam, for everything else, um, I just go straight for the ice beam as he goes through the tot. That's why he went for the tot was because he thought I was a shell smash set, which I'm not. And he thaws out first turn after that freeze. Uh, you know, it hits me with an earthquake. Gonna do about a fourth. Um, I knew I could take a hit from it, and I do. So uh, that's the end of Glagger, and um, Omastar takes it out with a second ice beam. So good job, Omastar. You've earned a gold medal. For killing a Glagger, which I was really worried about, honestly. I thought it would be a really stally Glagger, but, you know, it, it didn't really matter. Um, he's gonna have this Manectric now. I don't want to over-predict. I'm thinking, like, all for a Flamethrower, predicting me to go out into it. Um, but he does have HP Grass, which means he's gonna be able to take me out with that. And, um, that's the end of Omastar, which really sucks, because that thing would have been really helpful later on. Um, I'm gonna go out into my Crocodile now, because I am Scarfed. I'm thinking I can take a hit, or I can... Outspeed it and hit it, kill it. Uh, and if he wants to switch out into his uh, Honchko, I can hit that with the Stone Edge, which is what I go for, knowing I can take a hit from this thing, seeing as it at it scarfed because uh, it out because it outsped me. I know I can take a hit, but I miss the Stone Edge, which is really annoying because that would have been the end of that, and that would, uh, comes back to bite me in the ass later that this thing didn't die. Um, I'm gonna go out into my Flosion now to take the Hidden Power Grass. I know it can take it pretty dang well because it's resisted and whatnot. So, um, it does take it really well. And, um, you know, he doesn't want to stay in and take a hit from me. F predicting the Fire type move, he's gonna go out into his Water type, his Quagsire, to resist it. Um, I'm just gonna predict that and go for the HP Grass. Since that's what I do, I'm Typhlosion, I predict H I predict Quagsire switches and hit it with HP Grass. So, <laughs> that's what happens, and uh, he lives on in yellow health, um, and everything. I'm just gonna go for another one, in case he wants to stay in to die, or if he wants to switch out into something, I can hit it, at least get some damage off. Which I do get damage off on this Honchkrow, with the HP Grass. It actually does a lot more than I thought it would. I figured it would do a lot less than that, but, you know, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> uh, he's, I'm, I'm going to go out into my uh, crocodile now because um, I'm predicting him. I, I No, I, I'm just sending him out as death fodder. 
Um, I just want this thing to just, you know, kind of die so I can bring something in safely. Um, he's going to go for the Brave Bird. I'm going to get that Intimidate off. I know I can live it no matter what. But, uh, you know, it'll help for future, I guess. Um, going to go out and do my Scarf Flosion. Um, because, you know, I, I'm a Flosion. And I can outspeed everything. Uh, he's going to go out into his Shell Gone. I'm going to just go for the safe Fire Blast. You know, to get some damage on whatever comes in. If it goes into that, uh... Quagsire, it's going to die in two hits, or one, if I'm lucky. So, you know, that's that. He's going to go into Shell Gun. I'm going to actually do about a third to that thing with Fire Blast. Just going to stay and hit it with another one, thinking he probably doesn't have a lot of attack investment in this thing. Or any attack in this thing. He probably is just Support, Wish, Protect, Toxic, and maybe Earthquake. Um... I didn't know if he would have Protect, I figured he would have Wish, um, so I just went for, stayed and gone for the Fire Blast, just to scout out if he did have the, uh, Protect, and he does, which means, um, you know, I can, I have to wait more to take it out. Anyways, I, I'm just kind of babbling now, but I'm just gonna go for another Fire Blast, gonna do a good chunk of damage, um, gonna get the burn, fortunately, which is really good, because I always like burning this, burning things like this. You know, it's residual damage, it's hindering if it has any attack at all, which would probably be Earthquake, you know, helps me out in the long run. Now, I know this thing can't do anything to me, if it wants to go for the Earthquake, I can resist that with my Ludicolo. He went for the Wish the previous turn, um, uh, blah blah blah, if he wants to go for Protect, I'm just gonna bring out Ludicolo. Um, now he goes out and his Quagsire to pass the Wish, which is a really good play on his part, um, I might have been able to play this game a little better, looking back on it, um, uh, predicting the protect earlier, going out into this thing, and, you know, but, I'm predicting the switch again, gonna go for the, uh, what do I go for? Go for the Swords Dance, as he predicts me to go for the grass type move, and goes into his Shell Gone to resist it, but I'm not going for the, that, because, uh, I'm not dumb, and that's pretty obvious, he's two things to resist my ground type stab. And, um, I'm just gonna go for the Ice Punch and take this thing out with a plus two. And, um, so that is the end of that. Good times. Ugh, <sighs> man, I'm tired today. I don't know about you, but I just kind of feel, I felt tired all day, and, ah, uh, you know. After this match is over, I'm gonna go to NBZ's stream, watch that for a little bit, you know, have some good times. But, um... Now, I'm thinking I'm slower than this Honchkrow, so I'm going to switch out into my um, Dusknoir rather than go straight for the Ice Punch. And uh, he ends up going for the Sucker Punch, which, you know, is cool. Um, he's going to switch out now, fearing the Will-O-Wisp, or he's just locked into Ice Punch and doesn't predict me to go for... Or locked into Sucker Punch and doesn't re predict me to go for an attacking move. Either way, he switches out into his Quagsire. Which I burn, which uh, doesn't really come into play at all, except for one moment in time, and uh, it's the only moment in time it really comes into play. And no, it's not this first burn turn, burn turn that rhymes. Um, <laughs> I decided to just go for the safe earthquake. I was really contemplating whether to go for the earthquake or whether to go for the fire punch. I was going to go for the fire punch, predicting him to go out into that thing, but um, I, he he, but I go for the safe earthquake, which. I should have gone for Fire Punch, because that would have made my life easier. Um, and now he's just going to take me out with a Night Slash, and my Dusk Noir did nothing this match, which is never good. Um, <laughs> so that's dead. I'm just going to go out into my Scarfed Flosion, because Scarfed Flosion... It's, it's a Scarfed Flosion. Why wouldn't you go out to that if you could? Uh, I fortunately live Stealth Rocks. He's going to switch out into his... Uh, what's it called? That thing to take whatever I have to hit it with, and I just decide to go to fo or Focus Blast because that's the best thing I have to hit it with. Um, yeah, that's the best thing I have to hit his team with. If he wants to go out into this thing for fodder, if he wants to go out into his Nectric for fodder, if he wants to stay in and try to live it, whichever, he's going to get hit with a Focus Blast and get a lot of damage. Um, because those uh, Quags are going to get a crit on the Focus Blast, and Bird's going to take him out, and that's the only time Burn came into play. <laughs> now I bring some electric. Now this thing's scarfed. I'm scarfed. We're both max speed. It just depends on what nature we are as to whether or not I outspeed or he outspeeds. And, um, 
he has, he's obviously jolly, jolly scarfed, I modest scarf because I like having that balance between scarfed and the attacking side and everything, you know, but yeah, I just, I don't want to be timid, anyways, he's gonna go out into his, um, thing, I'm gonna go out into my thing, um, thinking I could outspeed, but I can't, um, I didn't think anything else on my speed could out, anything else on my team could outspeed this thing, that's what I should be saying, so, uh, now I'm just basically down to my last Pokemon, which is my Ludicolo, and I'm just gonna, you know, go for Ice Punch, hopefully it doesn't take me out, but I'm outspeed this thing, and I'm just like, what? What? How did I outspeed this thing, and how did my Metacham not outspeed it before? I'm so confused. Um, but I kill it, surprisingly. Um, that was kind of shocking. I'm like, I could possibly come back and win this. So he brings out his last Pokemon, which is an electric. I know he's gonna be able to outspeed me, but maybe, just maybe, I can live a Thunderbolt from a, a sp scarfed, you know, timid. No, I, I can't, and I die, and that's the game. That's a 1 0 victory for Mephesto. It was a really good game. Kind of hacksy, but good nonetheless. It was a lot of fun for me. It was a lot. He told me after the match that he had a lot of fun. Um, hopefully, get to battle him again soon, and. That is all I have for you today, my friends. Um, I don't know when you'll be getting this, honestly. I think I might upload a match tomorrow or something. Um, I'll probably, actually, I'll probably upload one tonight, in all honesty. Yeah, I think I'm going to upload one tonight. I have one more against Shroomtastic, and then this one. So I'll probably upload this one, maybe Sunday night, maybe Sunday night. So... You'll just have to stay tuned to that. And, um, you know, let's just close with the obligatory, uh, things like, uh, if you like the video, leave a like, please. It really it means a lot to me to get those like ratings. If you dislike the video, go ahead, leave a dislike. But if you are, I, uh, really like to know why you're giving it a dislike. Leave a comment about it in the description below. Or anything else you want to comment about, go ahead, leave that down. Um... You know, I love reading comments, I love responding to, well, not voice crack, love responding to you guys, and, um, love seeing the channel grow and prosper and everything. So, um, and if you like my vid this video, go ahead, check out my other videos, if you haven't already, and leave a sub if you like my content, because I'm usually uploading stuff eventually, whenever I get to it. Um, and, uh, go check out my fest, it's always really, really good, I recommend you do that. And, um, I think that's all I have to say. So, um, thank you all for watching, and, um, have a nice day, everyone.